Yep. All right. Who wants to start? What was this remake like for you? Man. How was it? I, 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 you know what? I don't. Pardon me. Um, I, I wouldn't use the word remake. Um, rebirth, more so. Um, we're doing nothing like what they did in the past. Nothing. And it, it is so crazy how I've never seen one of the originals, ever. And Zach talked to me. I tried, and we had dinner before we started. I said, I've never seen one of them. I said, should I? He goes, you want. He goes, not going to take anything from it that we need. I said, yeah? He goes, yeah. And it shows. I'm, I'm glad I didn't watch them. They, I, I, I might watch them sometime, but it, I would have taken nothing from what we did in our film compared to. It is so incredibly different. Horror movies are known to be uh, very physical. Yeah. What's the physicality difference between you know, WWE and a nightly show and having to get up every day for a horror movie. Um, uh, one of the biggest differences isn't really the physical, but it is you don't get that right away um, admiration or cheering or jeering. You do take, you punch a guy in the face, wait eight seconds later, cut. Was that good? Okay, let's do it again. Okay, but was that good or was that bad? Right? It's not the initial reaction. WWE punched guy in the face. Oh yeah, he punched him in the face. So that's that's probably the biggest difference in the two realms. But man, we were, we were just as physical in this one. Uh, I've I've had easier matches than I had for this film, but I've also had harder because there was something. I mean, the first thing we did, the first night of filming. They put the prosthetics on, which takes about two and a half hours. Very worth it. Seeing the final thing, final creature, very worth it. But first thing they had me doing was running uphill. And I go, Zach, I don't know if you, I'm not in the greatest shape. I said, you're having me run uphill for the first night. It's three o'clock in the morning. You, you wanted to get it out of the way. I said, the first thing though? But I'm very glad we did get it out of the way, because that was probably the toughest thing we did. But it was just like four hours, just up and up and up. Whew, it was, it was a, that was a rough start, but it was fun. Every night was so worth it. Looking back on it now, seeing the finished product for the first time last night, every, every night, long night, into the wee hours in the morning, it was totally worth it. So with all that being said, would you think about making another movie soon? I want to. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, completely. I, I, I love wrestling. Uh, it's my dream, it's my passion, it's what I've always wanted to do for my life, but I would love to make another film. It would be fun. This was fun. It was an experience. Um, I don't know, it's just nothing, it's nothing like WWE. I, and like I said, I love wrestling. I want to be able to play football with my son when I'm 40 years old. I feel 48 now at 28. At those days where I feel just bag banged up, and this would, this might only if I did do a couple films, it might help that out. It might be a little easier. So, I would love to. In a nutshell, I would love to do more. How did you prepare for this? How did I prepare? Oh man, I didn't. That's I feel almost lazy that I didn't prepare because I didn't know how the prosthetics would move or I didn't know how it would show facially or what we were doing. And Zach goes, just make it you. Whatever you want to do, you do it. So I did. I didn't think about it. I, once I got the prosthetics down, I did it. I just made it my own. And he would say, ah, why don't we tweak that a little bit? Well, how do you feel about doing this? Whatever you want, boss. He was the one of the best people I've ever worked with. Out, uh, and, you know, WWE or not. Just so easy to work with. We still text. 
every couple of weeks just saying, hey, how are you? And he's, he's, Zach is one of my good friends now from this movie. He's come out, come out to our shows. Um, whenever I'm in, in LA, I come in to see him. We have dinner. He has, he's already done so much. And he's kind of like a, like a dark horse. You know, not a lot of people know about him, but I, he's great. Good kid. I try to call him kid, but he's not really a kid. He's a great guy. So if you get rid of all the campiness of the original franchise, how do you make your leprechaun threatening and scary? Well, it's not as limericky and poetry and cheesy little songs. Yeah. Um, it's killing and slashing and scariness and running after these guys. And a lot, man, the jump scares in this are pretty out there. They're pretty cool. They uh, got me twice, and I knew they were coming last night. So it was. You know what? Everyone says, "Oh, it's not going to be like the originals." No, it's going to be better. Very simple. I mean, it's it's might be two mile an hour, you know, putting the the cart for the horse, but it's going to be better than the, than the originals for horror fans. It's it's a true horror movie. It's not in space. It's not in the hood or in the hood again. It's a, it's a horror movie. Was it hard to convey emotions to all the prosthetics? Yeah. Practice in the mirror and go out? Uh, yeah. It, man. I was so upset with, not with him, with the idea of it, because at first, I was like, no one is not going to really see much of it. But, the final result, and like, after we got to all the prosthetics done. It's amazing, man. It is amazing how it turned out. I, I that those people at Lynn Dollarshink and up in Vancouver, they do an amazing job, and they've done a lot of work for a lot of films. Um, I spent a lot of time with them, and for a, for a week and a half straight, I was there every day for like four or six hours, doing head casts and this cast and this, and I just. They love what they do. And if you love what you do, you excel at it. And you make it the greatest it can be. If you don't love what you can do, it's going to show. And they love what they do. And it shows. Are you a horror fan? No. Okay. Not in the least. Um, I'm starting to get into them now because of, I did this one. Mm -hmm. But, I, I, man, I'd rather laugh. Then, then jump in my seat. I hate horror movies, but I saw saw movies I really liked, um, and I watched Paranormal Activity one at noon with all the lights on, all the windows open, and still had a blanket over my head half the time. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get into it more now, though. I really do. So emotionally, mentally, how did it affect you going on to a set every day? This, you know, of uh, a place of violence. So, you know, not being a person that has the proclivity to to, to, to lean towards violence necessarily, having to deal with it every day, how that affects you. It was such a change, it made it fun. It made it interesting, it made it different than what I would normally do. I'm not going out there, and my, my normal job at WWE is going out there and slapping hands, kissing babies, making people laugh. This wasn't, and that's what makes it a challenge. It makes it fun. It makes it, makes it interesting every day. Was there a lot of CGI used? After seeing it last, I don't think there was any. I don't. No. No. That's really weird. It's it's all one of the only all ones. The that, in the, in the face yeah, we didn't use any CGI, right? Did we use any? We did. No, I don't think so. Oh, we didn't know. There's the answer. Time for two more questions. Yeah, we, I, and I'm glad. Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a legit movie. You almost don't need it with all this yeah. stuff you have on. Yeah. yeah, and it's hard to say, like, it's hard to say I did a movie without CGI these days. Everything's CGI nowadays. I know. Every movie has at some point. You didn't. Now that you say that, I'm going to be using that in every interview. Are you in the movie a lot? 
Or is it a slow reveal? Some people might say a lot. Some people might say not enough. Some people might say not a lot. I think it's the perfect amount. Um, could it be more? Yeah. Could it be less? Yeah. It is a reveal. Uh, it's an awesome reveal. Eventually, like eventually, how you start seeing more and more of, of it, and that it's it's great. I again, I'm glad that I just didn't come out in a green suit. Hey, da 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 da, da dead. So we've seen it. You know, come on now. Now it's making this a horror movie. One more? Stunts and ask the question. Yeah, man, I wanted, I did all of them but one, and I cussed Zach. Oh, I cussed him because I wanted to do it so bad. And him and Michael Louise, the producer, I wanted to do it. He said, no, you have to wrestle next week. I said, I don't want to wrestle. I want to do this stunt. Um, I'm glad I didn't because it's for two seconds of the movie, legit two seconds. Man, I was mad. Um, yeah, like I just, I wanted to do it. Not even that, I wanted to, I guess it was for my own bragging rights. I wanted to say I didn't have a stunt double. But it was, it was every, it was a physical movie. That's for sure. It was very, very physical. But it was fun. There wasn't a day, there was one night where I, I got sick real bad. And I, I just, I wasn't feeling it. But out of 17 days, there wasn't one, another time where I was like, oh, I don't want to be here. I'd rather be this. I loved it. We made it fun. Uh, we did high fives at five. Every, every five, time five o'clock hit, we would turn up, we would blast random music and high five everyone. Stop, we, would, we stopped shooting at times just to do it. So it was good, it was fun. Thanks, guys, very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.